I have no words, you know, what a wonderful meeting. And I don't know why is it so wonderful, because we put such a great program together with the moderators, with the speakers, with the faculty, all because we came together and, and we spent these two days in, in discussing, in debating, in asking questions and listening great presentations. Thank you very much to everyone. Thank you very much to our fantastic speakers who came from around the world and, and uh, gave their expertise and uh, their professional opinion and uh, the latest scientific view on the particular topic. Heart health. Let me it try to, heart health and to we do know very that quickly this is a recap disease which what is we fatal did disease. during this two and, uh, days. So I'm not touching the session. We just finished with Andy and three speakers about the urinary slow tract down infection. And what this we did understand that it's a very complex situation. It's it's. It's, it's not as simple because the cats are different. That's what I learned today. The cats are very different, like all people are different and cats have their own personality and they behave differently. And, and when they come to the disease stage, it's also very, very unique. So, but we learned about something that can help us to understand better the, um, the cat behavior and not only cat behavior with the help of technology, not only cat behavior, but also it will give us a fantastic future opportunities to maybe uh, predict certain uh, serious stages of disease uh, much earlier. So going back to the morning, to the morning sessions and there before, so what we did in the morning, we discussed the heart health. We discussed the heart health and we do know that this is a disease which is fatal disease. And uh, if we can help to slow down this progression of this disease with the certain nutrients and the, the science of metabolomics, the science of omics and, and systemic biology helps us to understand what are the biomarkers, what nutritional components can play on those biomarkers and, and maybe, maybe revert, but maybe do something else that, that cat lives longer and hopefully with a better quality of life, this is fantastic. But what I personally took also from, from these um, uh, lectures uh, in, in the morning, because um, I'm a medical doctor, I'm I, I was before I came to the company, I was dealing with people. And what I love uh, when uh, John Bonagura said, yes, we can have a great technologies, but what we should have, we should have a knowledge. We should have a knowledge and skills. And being a doctor, we need to rely not only on technologies, but also on the simple you know, conversation and making able to do the diagnostic from what we understand. So going back to the day one, who remembers what we did yesterday? <laughs> So there were two brilliant topics, and, and I start from the, from, the, from the first one from the morning because it was about the, the microbiome and sarcopenia. So these two things, can, can they be put together? Yes, because microbiome is a very complex organ. It's not only about the health of the gut, it's about the health of all entire body because microbiome is interacting with the different organs but also with the system. And we understood in, in the morning that in, uh, in uh, aging, we know that with aging, any, any individuals, would it be uh, human or would it be animal, the microbiome is also changing. And, and this, we need to understand what is the first, what is the secondary. Is it because the microbiome is changing, we are aging faster and pets are aging faster, or vice versa, because there's certain, certain metabolic changes happening in the body that it affects the microbiome composition as well. And what is fascinating, and we understood that Nestle is doing a huge research on that, to see how the system works and what are the biomarkers and omics in, in, in the aging body in different stages. And and what can, from the nutritional point of view, what specific novel ingredients can play a role that we can hopefully slow down the processes and, and extend a life of um, a, any person and pet. But then, at the last session, but not the least, because we were talking about obesity. I don't know how long you are talking about obesity. I'm, as long as I was working in the pediatrician and then 20 years in Nestle, we always talk about obesity and we have no idea would it be in, uh, in, in human world, would it be in a pet world. We have no idea how reverted back because it's just going up and up and up in different countries. Why is this? Is this because we, we eat better? 
Is it because the food is available? Uh, partially, maybe, yes, but the big things, and that's what I personally understood on, uh, on, on the discussions yesterday, this is in our mind. This is about behavior. Till we don't change our mindset, how we feed our pets, how we deal with our pets on a daily life, we will never combat the obesity. And that was absolutely fantastic. And with this, I really thank all of speakers and you participants being here, being online, to having such a fantastic session. Let's give a round of applause to all of us. Uh, but then you can imagine that this meeting would not be possible, and I'm very modest now, without the Purina Institute. And not, not only the Purina Institute, but the team. Team of the Purina Institute who is, who is uh, some of us sitting here, some of us in St. Louis in the, in, where the Purina Institute is, the Global Purina Institute. But a lot of people, they're still in different countries and in different regions. Those people who are helping us to make such events uh, very successful. And success for us uh, of this event is not that we are sitting in a, in, a, in a brilliant environment, which is also very, very important. Not that we have, you know, three meals a day and we, we have them on time, but that we really pass the message. We pass the message about importance and critical, critical role of nutrition in life in life of everyone. And as we are talking about pets here, that with nutrition we can make life of our lovely pets healthier and longer. So I really want to thank my team, extended team of the Purina Institute and Purina. Thank you very much for making it happen. And the last, not the least, to make sure that we see presentations, we hear the presentations. People around the world do that. And, uh, and even, you know, having such a quality of the digital channels, all guys behind these curtains, all guys who were working from the morning till the evening, and probably 24 hours a day, and, and the month before, who made it happen. I don't see you, but thank you very much. People from Switzerland, people from Canada, people from the US. And now let's do the business. So now I have to tell you a few things which are very, very important. And um, um, I do believe that some of you would be interesting to get a certificate. And uh, you will get a certificate uh, outside of this room at the welcome reception. For those who participated virtually, we will send those certificates within a few days into your email address that has been indicated during the registrations. Um, for um, all this, all this uh, event has been recorded and it will be available on demand after some time because we need to do certain work to put it uh, online. And um, you will get notification when the uh, information will be available because maybe you would be interesting to share that with a member of your team, with, with your colleagues, that they will benefit from, from this information as well. Or maybe you want to revisit yourself those presentations where you feel that, that you need more information on that. Um, so the next one information which is very important is the survey. We know that the event was perfect but we still would like you to give us a feedback and to give us suggestions for the future events. And you will find the feedback form on, on your, for those who are here on your desks. Also, we will send even people who are present in the room, we also will send it online uh, because some of us already, you know, left a little bit early to catch up flights. And for people who are vir virtually present, you will receive this information. Please take a few minutes, give us suggestions. Uh, how would you like us to be together in the future to make it event even more successful. And um, with this, I think I'm done unless I forgot something. Thank you very much and uh, see you later.